Yo, welcome back again. What's up? Oh, right. So this is the finale, episode six, the finale. <laughs> okay. uh, I have to say, this was a nice little a little touch. I haven't seen a lot of bands kind of doing stuff like this, so it's it's yeah, a it's nice, nice touch to have to talk about. It's nice okay, to have it's nice back every week. It's like being down to earth as well, and just saying what's going on in our heads and stuff behind the yeah. scenes because it is it is stressful like trying to do all this. It's a lot of pressure you put yourself under, you know. Oh yeah. A lot of abuse you have to take, you know. I mean, you never hear the abuse because they say it behind your back, but it's def- we're definitely getting abused by someone somewhere anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, welcome back anyway. This is basically just going to be like maybe a small little recap, a couple of thank yous as Connor wants to, wants to give a couple of thank yous. And... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, do you want to start? We'll start off with, you said you wanted to mention people, so we'll just we'll start with the whole thank you and all. And yeah, I just want to... I want to give a few shout outs uh, obviously the biggest one to Yanko for recording and mastering everything and uh, yeah I think he gave us a bit of confidence to actually record what we wanted to and the quality like I remember Adam was very happy first time we went there and he was like oh this guy actually listened <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, uh, he was listening to what we wanted but his input was also like fucking it was like I don't know I don't know it's, it's he didn't let us settle for less either which is good no, it was, this, yeah. yeah, it was definitely a different feeling. And then obviously a shout out to everyone that's listening and a shout out to everyone that's helped in some way doing logos or, you know, whatever they're involved in. We had a, oh, no, well, a let's, few people let's be su- Let's be super specific then, right? Shout out Rita yeah. Burton, yeah? yeah? Or Breton. The sister for, still for don't, still don't have logo. to say your last name yet, Connor. I'm still Bre- you say your last name there. <laughs> Brereton. It? It's very confusing. Brereton. <laughs> Brereton. Yeah. Shout out Rita Brereton. She literally made the new logo. Like just yeah. like I think Connor like I didn't even I wasn't expecting it. Connor was like, Yeah, check this out. She just did it and I was like, That's amazing. And uh, it ended up being literally the cover of the EP as well. So literally shout out. That's that's amazing. Yeah. 'Cause and it looks very, very professional. Um Yanko obviously well. gets the biggest shout out. It's like the Oscars right. where I was like Os- oh, what's it again so, yeah go you brought out the best in us thank you so much praise Jesus <laughs> praise God <laughs> uh, yeah oh I want to give, give, give a little shout out to uh, let's say mm, let me be very specific here I uh, will give Darren a shout out he I talked to him a couple of times and uh, he's yeah. been uh, helpful helpful shout out Darren he know Darren knows who Darren is <laughs> yep. and uh, Johnny Johnny Fitz Johnny Fitz knows who Johnny Fitz is he uh <laughs> he talked to me a couple of times and he gave me really good feedback on the songs and stuff i was talking to him last week so uh yeah. yes and sh- shout out to uh me cousins for actually sharing me links when i couldn't <laughs> when i was in facebook prison for like the first week <laughs> yeah. at lunch uh, I, don't yeah. I, I think people need to realize that these uh, as as half jokey as we're being like seriously thanks very much it's uh no, it's been yeah. it's been a ride it's been a ride uh That's shout out to people good. put us on playlists and she Gav Doyle, obviously, yeah. he, he texts us, like, and he, he put us on the cabin space. I'm like, shout out to him too, man, to be honest. Yeah. Give us a little boost. I was going to say, I was in talks with a Spanish radio today, and they're interested in putting it on. So, yeah, there's oh, mate. some interest. You just, what you can't. Man. We'll take anything, man. Stick us on fucking Radio Alaska. <laughs> stick us on, stick us, stick us on yeah. a Mount Joy prison or something, like, you know. I don't even care where yeah. it's getting played. This music's yeah. for everyone. You know, it's like my opinion I had a while ago. I remember I deleted the podcast, but I was talking about Hitler being like, can you separate art from the artist? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. If you, if you make a song, the, the odds are a pedophile is probably listening to us somewhere and being like, that's class. You know, you would be like, oh, you would not allow to listen to that. <laughs> you know, some <laughs> shit like that. It's really weird when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out anyone that's listened, except pedophiles, go kill yourselves. Uh, shout out. <laughs> Anyways, we got, I don't know how the fuck you end it. That's my brain going a big ramble. I'm really tired. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> probably, should, probably shouldn't have said that at all, to be honest. We're a fucking detour. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, just, it's been a wild ride. Um, I learned so much shit I didn't even know I had to learn for this. Stuff I didn't even know. Oh, stuff. Yeah. You know? We're, like, we all learned a lot of stuff. And, like, <clears throat> I think we learned, like... A lot of other stuff that's involved in music that we wouldn't have, wouldn't have ever thought, oh, yeah. you know? I mean, I learned... 100%. Myself, I like, oh, there's a lot more to a song than just record it and put it out there, you know? It's that word, yeah. uh, dynamics, right? Which yeah. I always go, oh, I know what you mean, yeah, I get you, I get you. 
I didn't know what I was saying yeah to. I thought I did. Now I don't. Now I know what I'm saying. When <laughs> someone says that, I'm like, oh, now I get it. Now I get what you're trying to get here. Yeah, yeah. Now I understand, you know? Uh, man, it taught me that I should stop being so hard. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hard on myself, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm yeah. the worst critic of my own shit. You know? Yeah. But then again, no, I don't like saying. releasing shit either, but I mean, I don't, I don't need to stop being so fucking hypercritical. Because as I said, if, if it was up to me, man, nothing that would ever get released ever. There's always one more bit of paint you could put on the canvas, you know? It's not ready, yeah. it's not ready, it's not ready. So, well, shout out to Connor. Connor, <laughs> thank you for making me record this instead of me going, oh, we'll give uh, it a we'll, oh, we can get better songs, we'll get better songs. And six years later, I'll be like, no, no, I'm still, well, can make better songs <laughs> in this, we won't go and record it. Because <laughs> it never nah. get done. I knew it was the right yeah. time because we just had It was actually the perfect time. Down. Because the perfect time and all that yeah. stuff. So it was a good time, yeah. I think just oh, because actually... the way everything went. No, sorry, yeah. what? I was chatting to other people and I was telling how long they took and we were actually like, oh, that's actually not that bad for recording. I was like, that's actually pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, that's one the, thing. The we issue was, about. the issue was, right, it was like, we did like six or seven sessions. If we got, if we had six or seven weeks flat out straight, we could have got it done. But because, oh, yeah. like, Obviously, time and I mean, we're, we're gonna explain some plans later on. I reckon the second EP will be out like quick, sharp if we can get six weeks yeah. in a row. Like, yeah, because uh, that's the plan, that's what we're planning. That's the plan, basically. Yeah, but man, just in regards to learning stuff, man, I it's I'm a weirdo, like, I like to try and really learn before I attempt anything. But oh, the only I'm way the to same, do this man. is to do. do when you realize yeah. the stuff you, you didn't, you weren't even preparing for, you didn't even know you had to learn. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. You know, yeah. So this has been like a massive co learning curve for me, anyway. Oh yeah, you know? and that's the thing when you're put on the spot. Sometimes you're like, you know, you can play the song, or whatever. When they ask you to do something else, you know, you have a you have a brain freeze or whatever. And you're like, oh shit, I haven't thought of it like that. And it might be the simplest yeah. thing to do, and it might be difficult to do. You know, so you do like you have to, you have to be real really prepared, but also, you know, prepare to learn. Prepare to learn, or, yeah. Yeah, prepare exactly, to learn yeah. to prepare to just learn on the go like it's you, you can't yeah. prepare for this at all if i was to give any no. advice to anyone that's gonna like record their first like proper ep like with a, like a professional i'd say forget everything you think you actually know and go in yeah. and pretend like you didn't like the first time because you'll learn more by doing that yeah seriously you just learn by just doing and you go oh shit and it'll stick with you yeah because you're i don't know it's very practical I... even if you're not hands-on it's just it's different i don't know what it yeah. is you just need to do it it's the only advice I can do is just do it as quick as you can to learn as quick 100%. as you can. To be honest, you know? I think the de I think the demos were brilliant as well. Like we needed to do them, and I think oh, yeah. anyone who wants to record and go into a studio, like instead of wasting all your money, record demos and have an idea of exactly what you want to do, and then you can change mm. stuff and all that crap. But have a basic structure. Hundred percent. I think yeah. it's important because otherwise, you and just don't be worry. Like, <clears throat> and I'd say don't worry as well about them sounding shit because they are just yeah. demos. I know, I know we released exactly. our ones and we try to make them as best we could yeah. with what we could do with them. But I yeah. mean, in terms of like the, the demos we did and the praise we're getting now because we actually got them finished, they're two. Yeah. They, they're the same song but are two completely different songs at the same time as well. Just like yeah. noise wise, they're different. Like it's 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 amazing what production can do as long as you have the yeah. idea in your head and you can get it down. But you need to get yeah. it down. Don't don't go into the studio. And then be like, oh, well, I kind of wanted this here. You'll end up recording for about seven years trying to get a fucking song finished, you know? Yeah, I'd say yeah, go, no, in, go in nearly complete like we did. Because, man, yeah. it's actually gas. I didn't even think of that until right now. If we, like, we only, we got that done in, like, six weeks, like, like, technically yeah. six weeks. Like, six sessions we got that done in almost, you know? Yeah. And two yeah. mixing sessions outside the studio, but I mean, that's, that, I think that's pretty good for the quality we got and all. That was pretty fucking amazing. I'm, I'm quite proud that's, of myself now. That's with these, very you know? good, yeah. Yeah. I'm, s and I'm they still were... not used to people saying, uh, oh, I like them. I, I, I find that very awkward. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very hard to take <laughs> they were, moment. Mm. They, were, they were flat out days as well. Like, do you remember? <laughs> Jesus Christ, mm. eight hours, nine hours. They were long flat, days, yeah. Flat out recording. I remember being bollocks after them. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh. Especially the last one. I remember, oh, like, yeah. after that, I just fell asleep for, like, a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, well, it used to be a rag order because you literally, it starts at, like, 10, and then we wouldn't go home to, like, we finished yeah. up at six, so we wouldn't go home to like half seven, eight or something like that. So it was literally a whole day of record. But I mean, yeah. it had to be done. It had to be. It's, we're oh, gonna. Yeah. Ha we're gonna. I suppose we'll we'll jump into our uh, we'll jump into some of our, our recording plans and stuff. Then yeah, we'll, we'll kind of tell them. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Right. So 
let's call it phase two, chapter two, or whatever. Uh, regardless of what happens, Maybe regardless if we get the band together, or if we can get a launch together, or whatever. Uh, regardless of anything of that, this the first of well, the first weekend we are free in January, which is probably going to be like mid January. Me and Connor yeah. are going to just get six weeks in a row, Bash it out. Or, yeah. or, or, and flat out just go in and record the next EP and have it done really, like not really quick, but as quick as we can get it done because um, we're, we're, we're ready. We, it's the same situation as last time. We have finished songs there. We only need to demo yeah. two more of them. And, and yeah. the, in fact, the demos we need to do, we already have demos of. We just want to redo yeah, them. Got, so that they sound a bit say, better. Like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... This should be. I'm not saying. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy because you should never say that. In terms of when we tried to record the last EP, the songs oh, we thought were going to be the quickest, were the longest. The songs we thought were oh, going yeah. to be the most dynamic, were the easiest. So we, we yeah, we're not, we're not going to say know. anything about. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> so we're not going to. We're not going to say. Oh, we're going to go in and do this. This it'll happen. It, we're going to have a block anyway, so it will be done way quicker yeah. than this one was because we started this one. It took us a couple of months, but it shouldn't have because it's only because we took breaks in between and stuff. And it's like obviously life got in the way, and I had a wedding to go to and all, and there's all types of shit going on. But this time it'll be cracking, crack out because we know what to expect, kind of now. So I'm yeah. like, I'm mentally prepared because I didn't know what to mentally prepare for every day. I was like, yeah, oh, I'll do a bit well, of singing. Yeah, 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 yeah. singing for like 12 hours, and you're like, oh, me fucking, I'm tight music, <laughs> like, you know. But now I know <laughs> to be like, oh, well, this is what to pre mentally prepare for. So I'm like, oh, the next day I'm, I'll have to do this, so blah, blah, blah. So it's um yeah. the I, I I I can I I can in my own head I have big uh, ambitions for the next one because of how well these ones turned out to be honest I've big ambitions because the next ones yeah. are even better songs to be honest yeah um, I think I think they're better songs to be honest so, like I don't yeah. think I know they're <laughs> but, but um, it's gas that that's what kind of annoys me sometimes Connor because people always go eh. I, I always go, I have better ones, and they go, oh no, them ones are good. I'm like, yeah, no, you know, listen to me. I know, the, them ones are okay, but like, we actually genuinely have better songs, like, and we can't wait to get yeah. them ones out. <laughs> like, if you like these ones, you're going to love the fucking next ones. Hopefully, I mean, <laughs> it's it's always down to personal taste, but they're in the kind of the oh, same yeah. vein as the other songs, so I can't imagine people being, calling them shit. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No. So, January is our time frame. We're taking a bit, we're taking half of a little bit of a break now. We're still going to, yeah, like, push push this ep but we're gonna start our next kind of phase is like mid-october that's oh, when we're gonna launch the yeah. instagram yeah yeah if you want to tell me a bit about that kind of where i'm just chilling this <laughs> sorry yeah yeah so we have plans to launch the instagram we have a few content ideas um yeah because we've basically we've well we've i won't say we completed facebook and youtube but i feel like we have a pretty good we have a pretty good rhythm, yeah, with Facebook and YouTube in terms of Facebook, the posts. Um, and, yeah, and Instagram is basically the one where we have not done that much. So, we're going to focus on Instagram with pictures yeah. and kind of cool content. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward I'm going to, to that. I'm going to, like, learn how to actually use it. So Yeah, no, it's difficult. <laughs> I haven't got a clue at the minute, yeah. Because I want to get good pictures, but I'm not sure how to actually get pictures from it, like... A DSLR onto Instagram. I don't know how. I just I, 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 unless it's, you can only do. Uh, but how do people get professional pictures on Instagram then? Oh, I don't know. You, you can't. You, you can do it on Instagram. You have to. It has to be ways. Google you? Google Drive. That's the answer. <laughs> oh yeah, right, man. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we we we're, we're taking it the same kind of the same kind of vibe as in we're going to kind of. I know every time I try and talk about this, when I say meta, it, it sounds like I'm talking absolute horseshit. But I have the idea in my head, the aesthetic in my head, right? And it's not even, it's like an anti aesthetic. It's the aesthetic is that we're not going for any fucking aesthetic. The aesthetic yeah. is, is that it's a big fucking joke the fact that musicians even have to post pictures or do all these stupid, funny videos or, or, or all this crap. It's about sound. So I can't yeah. comprehend how musicians are forced into. Like, here's a picture of me, and I have a daffodil in my hand, and, oh, me, me links are down there. And, like, ask me help, right? We're just going to post the absolute most stupidest random garbage of just our faces just being like, why are you looking at this picture? Just go and listen to the music, please. Come on. And then we'll, <laughs> we'll throw in some real pictures as well, but mostly we're just going to be using it for a bit of, like, a bit of, just to po kind of poke fun at the fact that yeah. people are taking, take Instagram very serious when they're musicians, so when they shouldn't serious. be, because, like, it's, it's, it's just, I don't know. At least we might stand out a little bit by saying "go fuck yourselves" rather than like it's it's it might look better standing out like a sore thumb rather than fucking 
having the same pictures that the fella down the road has and the fella down in the different county has and all it's all the same shit it's always black and white and we did it ourselves because i was like i oh, will try and get yeah. a nice little thing and we did it like you can look at everyone's man i look at them and I'm like they're all right pictures but i'm like ah we fucking everyone has the that like pictures, fuck this, you know yeah they're a bit cringe to be honest right now like, look at them like, yeah uh, that that's kind of what made made me do this because I'm like we felt like we had to do that because everyone was doing it. You're like we'll, we'll do this. I'm like well fuck that. You know what? Wear yeah. whatever you want, man. Come down to your pajamas. We'll get a few pictures and be like the music is there. That's what it's about. It's not about looking like fucking sharp. At the end of the day, it's sound. It's not pictures. So fuck yeah. you. Whoever if you're gonna judge us by how our face looks rather than how the actual thing sounds, you're a shallow vapid person and the music probably isn't for you in the first place. All music isn't for you. <laughs> Unless it's like <laughs> weekend music like it's Saturday, it's weekend, dancey dance, let's have a drink, my friends. Like it's same shit music you hear, but um yeah, why not what that's the aesthetic we're going for is basically fuck you. That's kinda it at the minute. Uh but yeah. I'm actually very excited because I have a little like a lot of funny ideas which are they're, they're funny in the sense of like Norm McDonald comedy where it's like it's it's fourth wall poking fun it's comedy poking fun at the seriousness of how unserious it should be I know that sounds like a tongue twister it makes no sense but if anyone like li ever heard Norm McDonald like the comedian his type of comedy where it's like even though he'll tell a knock knock joke right and it's shit but that's the point of it it's it's so yeah, shit he's yeah. poking fun at the idea of comedy itself it's that's what i want yeah. i want that aesthetic to be like these pictures are so fucking stupid it's so well, shit the point it's crap. funny <laughs> you know okay. yeah exactly like exactly adam sandler movies basically <laughs> <laughs> no adam sandler is shit <laughs> <laughs> compared to ron mcdonald's now uh, <laughs> he's a true a true a true a true, a true sorry it was tongue-tied here a true original person or comedian yeah. is definitely norm mcdonald that's like you either get his comedy or you won't if you see his stand-up it's like some of it is just like what the fuck are you talking about like he <laughs> talk it'll take him 20 minutes to get to a punchline but he's doing it on purpose but that's why it's funny because it's like this should have been ended 20 minutes ago and he just keeps going <laughs> yeah well anyways like the way he keeps going on i love it i don't know what it is about it it's next level <laughs> just stupid shit uh so that's that's the well uh, just uh, i keep saying that's it but on the 15th that's when we're that's a weekend i'm pretty sure that's a saturday yeah that's when it's i aim saturday, to get yeah. out and get the first yeah me and connor are gonna meet up and we're gonna get it and that's what's good about it as well we're gonna have so much bullshit content on it we're gonna have flood it and be like oh yeah put it this way because we're not aiming for like pristine oh hold me guitar and oh hope girls like me and all this shit right we can we can do like 50 pictures in one day and just release yeah. one a day every day for 50 days and be like oh here we are again uh, have you listened to the music <laughs> oh musicians are class aren't they like you know just stupid shit like so yeah. you, should, you should expect something on the 15th of october in regards to instagram and uh, i'm sure we can cross promote it with facebook and all that to, to like it's it's the same kind of platform now isn't yeah, it kind of, yeah well, i know the, you kind of merged or something yeah yeah they're the same you can put a post to facebook and instagram they're the same company it's meta mm. on both of them but um yeah yeah they're, they've actually gone quite similar now <clears> since <throat> meta's took it over to be honest but i think that i think they're like cross-connected because i always see people they're sharing them from instagram but it's in my facebook feed i'm like how is that yeah, i don't yeah. understand but yeah. we'll, we'll figure yeah. it out anyway and with we'll, now because that'll only add to the facebook shit as well so it's at, at the minute for the next two weeks it's all about trying to figure out creative ways to kind of promote ourselves again that are not yeah. cringy and not the same that everyone else is doing um so yes that's kind of the, the half time frame from like we always kind of take christmas off anyway which i think we're entitled to it's well, it's a yeah. very we always stress ourselves out the whole year and i know it doesn't seem like it but the amount of work we do behind the scenes is, is ridiculous oh, like, there's not Especially one day I, yeah. especially this year in particular i think we oh yeah it was it was very heavy yeah like this yeah. year this year was very physical like recording and all that and time consuming and, and money consuming and stuff but even when we're not doing that and this was extra on top of what i do anyway when i'm even when i go oh i, I said it to you a couple of times but like i'm a bit mentally born i don't want to take two weeks just just away just to fucking not touch music yeah no and that's, that's what you need and to do sometimes i'll do the same but I, I won't touch drums for ages and then you come back to it and you're fresh <clears throat> yeah but that that's not what i was gonna say i was gonna say oh, what always happens to me is it takes two days and then i'm all two or three days then i'm like oh, i'll just play my guitar just, and then oh, i never yeah. actually get a break so christmas yeah. i actually don't even have time to play because i'm just family and stuff so i'm like this is great yeah. you know you take a proper little rest and stuff yeah. but it's funny as well kind of you, you know when i always go oh, i'm not playing i go well, I'm, I'm having a break or whatever that's when i write the most music i don't know what yeah. it is it's very strange yeah. very fucking strange I kind of like that during like holidays or something or days you have off is like I probably play the most 
Yeah. Um, Even though you say, I'm having a rest. <laughs> you just don't. You just make them. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what. Maybe it's because your brain isn't under pressure. Maybe. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, this is for fun now rather than for like walk. Let's say in quotations. I think it depends on the kind of person you are. Like some people are consistent in how much they do. I'd say I'm the kind of person that does everything at once and then takes a break. You know, you've seen me. I'll do fifty yeah, things yeah. at once and then I'll be like, right, I'm off for today. <laughs> so I think I do the, the same as well. I I do yeah, like do really really same. heavy walk. Yeah. Yeah. But then I'll take yeah. like four weeks off. But the amount of walk I've done, I'm like, well, uh, that just still keep me going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love yeah. having a deadline of like you have 10 minutes to do that I'm like I better finish this and then it ends up amazing like you be creative juice you just go bang they just pop in your head like I don't know yeah, some yeah. people just walk like that as you said everyone's every, every different strokes different folks and shit you know 100% um, yeah um, the, the newest song uh, City Sleeps at Night it's doing it's not doing as well as the other two but I mean I, I really expected it to yeah, I do what it well. is doing now to be honest because it's we, it's at the end now like it's it, there's a weird kind of combination of like Obviously, it was exciting in the in the fourth song. It's really exciting because people are like, "Oh, what are you up to?" Then the middle, it's like, "Oh yeah." And in the end, they're like, "Well, we're already, we know what they're doing. They're doing music, so they're not really yeah, that yeah. as interested, you know." Yeah. It's just, it's just no. a shame. It's, it's it's exactly what it's it's funny, Connor, because it's ironic with the heaven. Oh, not the heavens. Sorry, with the how the city sleeps. Uh, the city sleeps at night. Yeah. It's funny with yeah. the last song we released because it's such a uh, what would you call it a parallel to how I assumed people would listen to the actual EP. It's the same way they're listening to the, the song. It's like the four, if you can get past the four tens, we promise you it's good, but you have to keep yeah. your attention there. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Like, you know, it's, yeah, it's just no, fucking like hell, yeah. You know? I still want to yeah. push that, lads. Get to the bridge in that song. We promise you it's That's the best bit of music like. we've made. It's the, so good. The, the bridge, that is so fucking good. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Really like, oh, that's <laughs> class. <laughs> oh, Christ. It's depressing. Um, <laughs> I want to touch on uh, playlists for a second as well, because I was talking to um, yeah. to Gav, and um, there actually is a lot. He, he sent me a lot of resources in a message. I was like, oh, I didn't even fucking know you could do yeah. that. There's loads of websites and all, but it is paid though. You have to pay to get your song on on the fucking playlist. I'm like, yeah. The, he said really some of them you have to pay a tenner. We have to pay a tenner before they even look at it. And I'm like, that's. Ah, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it might, yeah. it might be worth looking into to get it. Like, I mean, you could pick one song and pump money into one song, but it's just it's just depressing to think that that's yeah. the fucking way it is. You know, it's. Ugh. That's the I way. I mean, it's. Of I suppose it's kind of the same as the old way, where it's like, oh, you kind of need someone to know someone to get it on radio. You know, the old-fashioned way or some shit. Or, but yeah. it's just fucking. Ah, damn, that's it. Ah, we need to re we need it's to relook at our budget anyway. Especially for the next oh, yeah. EP, we can put more money aside and say, well, we're going to pump this one into a playlist or something, or, you know? Something yeah. like that. Yeah, I just, thought, I just wanted to touch on, let, to let people know that it's not as, as straightforward as, oh, um, let's say, if you let, put it this way, if you see someone's song on Spotify, right, and it has like 50,000 listens, and you're like, well, how is that? Or, or that's not that good or some shit. It's because they probably paid for it, to be honest. It yeah. is. It's a half a pay to win scheme. But then again, yeah, no, if your content is shit, you can pay all you want. The people aren't gonna come back, and they're not gonna really care about the song. But it's annoying well, to think it. that people on the outside will look and go, like, I used to get really fucking squashed. You know, when you're looking at stuff that you're like, that's so par. I'm like, how the fuck yeah. are people listening to that? Then you realise, oh, they're not. They're not listening to it. People are paying to get their songs listened to. I'm like, oh right, I get, I get you now. So it's yeah. not. It isn't as bad. The, the the whole climate isn't as bad as I actually thought it initially was for the past couple yeah. of years because I didn't realise you could pay. But I'm like, I, that's why I'm very conflicted because I know the songs are good, are better than some people's songs. But then I'm like, do I really want to? I don't know if it's cheating or not. I don't know. Yeah. I'm because I'm morally conflicted on when I have to put money into that. I, I don't know. I might be worth it for one song to see. Yeah. But, well, the, oh, the thing know. is, the thing is, it very much depends on the type of playlist and who the type of people that are listening and is it targeted right as well. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with putting money in the playlist but it has to be the right playlist it has to suit your song like yeah. if you look at the songs and they're completely different vibe it's just not gonna work people are gonna be like why the fuck is this here like you know like if i was listening to a dance music playlist for example and i saw a fucking heaven sent it there i'd be like why the fuck is that there <laughs> you know yeah but um like yeah it's, it's definitely a thing to consider like to get the right playlist for the song yeah, especially uh, I suppose it, it's it's gonna be hard to kind of pick out which playlists are organic listeners and which are not because there is yeah. such thing as stream farms. It's the same thing yeah. as a Bitcoin farm. You get a yeah. lot of people. Let's say someone. Let's put it this way, right? 
someone has a playlist, right? They set up a lot of dud accounts, add the accounts, you have 50 computers there, you charge someone 100 quid to fucking, to just stick the song on a loop and get 2,000 listens or some shit. And you're thinking, oh, 2,000 people listening, like, no. Someone literally, they half scams you. But then again, it is all about numbers as well. If you're going to get any type of deal or exposure, people always look at the fucking numbers. Yeah. It's so annoying. Maybe that's yeah. another avenue we can go into being totally meta. We can just be like fucking, oh, look, we got 10 billion views and absolutely fake it to the, fake it to the extent that's completely obvious. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and we just make yeah. it. Actually, no, I'm writing that down. I'm writing that fucking down. We have to be like, oh, thanks for the 100 million uh, streams. We're so great, man. We're amazing. I'm right. I'm literally. Can I talk to them for a minute? I'm gonna get a pen. I'll tell them. <laughs> tell them about the price of vinyl. Be back in two seconds, right? Yeah. So me and Adam were looking at the price of vinyl. There's a place in uh, Dublin, and uh, I think it's in Dublin, and it's mad money. So it's a hundred quid for one vinyl, just to print one vinyl with um, artwork, and then it's yeah, like you can get like seventy for like three or four. So yeah, it's crazy money. So I don't know how people make money off that, but I assume in bulk it's a lot cheaper. But even still, like I was working out, if you had like five hundred copies or something, the max they could sell that for is like twenty five, thirty quid. So if if artists are selling their music for twenty quid, they're probably making like a euro off every record, you know, if they're doing a big bulk. So kind of crazy like you think there's a huge profit margin from vinyl there's actually not um cd is where the profit margin is but sure no one buys cd anymore <laughs> but um yeah we're thinking of printing a couple of vinyls maybe two or three and a couple of cds um probably i don't know how many cds we'll print probably like 50 or something like that but um yeah if anyone wants a cd let us know probably give them out for free or if not my charge a couple of euro but yeah should be good should be good <clears throat> but, yeah. are you back Hello? adam yeah i am back. back yes i am back Right, yeah. I had to write that down because I'm deaf. That's getting added into the arsenal of uh, content we're gonna do. Because <laughs> it ties in with the with the insta team of like, why the fuck are we doing this bullshit? You know. Yeah. Um, yes, I, t I think it's the, it's it's like a half way of being like, fuck you. It's a bit <laughs> punk, isn't it? It's a bit like fuck all this. It's it's just go fuck yourself. Like, why you make? Why do we have to jump through all this crap? This modern fucking hoops of fucking oh look at me face look at me guitar I have a hundred million listens oh but like no one actually listened to it and all it's that's all listens bollocks like isn't it <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah, wait no. to fucking I literally can't wait to make some of that content just to poke absolute shit for that people without them even realizing it's not aimed yeah. at anyone in, in specific it's aimed at the idea that's what it is it's an attack of an idea an ideology let's say of like you have to do this and this is the way it has to be done like, ah, fuck. sorry I'm getting very passionate now about it it does piss me off though. It's something I'm yeah. very and I mean, even when I used to do the fucking the old uh, SoundCloud uh, videos, I used to always be like, "Look at this cunt has fake listens. It's blatant. It's blatant." Like I'd be like, "How are you even pretending? How can you go to bed at night going, my my fucking SoundCloud has a two hundred thousand listens of four followers and uh, no comments?" I'm like, "It's clearly fake. You've like two YouTube streams. No one listen to this." Like that. Yeah. 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 It's, it's oh. like, but how can you go to bed being like? I'm successful today. <laughs> I did that. Yeah. Like, you didn't do what the f How can you? Oh, I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. I'll never understand human beings. Um, yeah, did you tell them about the price of vinyl anyway and how, like, it's it's fucking. I did, yeah. Unless you're buying, like, 50,000 copies, it's <laughs> basically yeah. you're getting fucked. Like, well, that's what I was saying. I was, I, was, I was saying I was doing the maths and I was like, even if you bought, like, a bulk order of, like, 1,000 or 500, you'd only really make a euro or two off each record so it's a very yeah, low profit margin not great. unless you're buying mega bulk so i think when people think of vinyls and why they're so expensive that is why they're so expensive that's why that's, then that's and why. and, yeah. and don't be so like oh they're making so much profit out of this they're not <laughs> they really are let's well hold on maybe how how did they used to be they used to be way cheaper though regardless so maybe the, the technique yeah. is lost or something like that you know maybe it's a lost well, art I think I th it's I, harder to make. I think it just depends on the country. Like if if we we're in the US and there was more competition, it'd probably be a lot cheaper. B 
because we're in Ireland, there's oh, probably yeah, realistically yeah. only like two places that do it. Like, because it's a very ah, yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, we're yeah. fucked. Because if you to, even if you want to buy cheaper ones and get delivery, delivery and all that, and shipping and uh, customs and all that, yeah. No. Well, no I'm sorry. I, um, I, there's no way I'm delivering a fucking vinyl from Spain. Like, no. Simple, <laughs> simple as. Yeah. That's breaking. But <laughs> did you tell them our pl- our plan? What we're gonna do with them? Like, uh, with, with yeah, that yeah. Gonna plan to actually, yeah, yeah. I was saying because like, I I do want to have one like to to have on my wall and be like that's I did that. You know, I want exactly. one for everything we do and be like that's that's mine. You know. I was saying um, like maybe two or three vinyls, just one for each of us. And then probably a, a and then, good, yeah, d- good few CDs. Yeah, sorry, sorry. What I was talking about CDs, I was saying. Ah, yeah. Could it could it easily do like fifty <clears throat> CDs if you wanted to, or however e- many. Even the fact that here's the thing as well, right? Even the fact that like, put it this way, no one listens to CDs anymore. No one cares. But it is yeah. a piece of physical media. It's kind of like a record where you can be like, yeah. here's something physical from us, rather than yeah. go, just sit in your room and having nothing. At least something you can look at and go, oh, them lads did that. And you can have it in your hand. I think yeah. that's worth something to be honest, you know. And pe- people like junk. Something. People buy Funko Pops, Connor. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? That's pure junk. Just because it is this, they will go. I I like this, you know. Well, it's, um, especially, but, especially if you're like at a gig or you're doing something and you hand someone a CD. Like if you tell them the name of the band, they're more than likely after a few it's drinks a gonna yeah. fucking forget about it. But if you give them a CD, they'll be like, "What yeah, the fuck do I have this it, for?" Yeah. 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 <laughs> And yeah. even if they fuck it in the bin, even let's say if they, they go, I oh, fuck this, and they fuck it in the Liffey or something, they fuck it on the bin street. Man. They go home and go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Do you remember I threw that into the Liffey? And they're like, what yeah. was that? Oh, that was some fella's EP. I think they were called whatever. <laughs> but yeah. you're in that consciousness, you're in that brain. You know what I mean? Like it's that's yeah. all, it's all about getting in the in the public consciousness to have to put it this way. Every te- every w- one person that tells someone else being like, oh, did you hear Adam did that? Oh, did you hear Connor did that? They'd be like, oh, listen yeah. to that. It's it's just one more person who goes, oh, that's that band. That's his friend that does that thing. And that's, it, it, as much as people think it's dead, I think that's the, you can't fight, it, it, it's not an algorithm. That's something concrete you can do. You can get people to say, oh, did you hear that? And then if it's, well, just once it's in their in their head, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, no, no, 100%. I think that, that, that's towards something. Um, I think we basically, I, I, let, me, let me check my list. I think, I think I touched on everything I need to touch on. I'm pretty sure. I think sure. we've kind of touched on everything. I think we did, yeah. I think yeah. we did. Yeah, damn. Um, wow, I feel pretty sad now that this is like the last one. Damn. I know. <laughs> like it's all over. It's all over. <laughs> uh, I don't know. May, may, I, I do want to still make some more content regarding this EP. I'm not oh, done. Done with it. No, no, we you know. Will. So we, we'll we'll ha, ha, I do have an idea going now, which I'm I'm seeing tomorrow, and yeah. it, we'll go, I'm gonna brainstorm with him and stuff, and and we'll run ship. I'll run ship past it and see what works, see what won't work, or. Or even yeah. you have, if you have some ideas and all, I, I do want to try and get the OBS up and running so we can split screen and listen to the demos that we have compared to the other ones. And yeah, be like, yeah. oh, isn't this? I think that'd be fun to do. Yeah, um, that'd be cool. I could sort that out yeah. or whatever. So we'll, we'll test that one of the weekends then, yeah. We'll, we'll just test it and try and connect and figure yeah. it out. So <laughs> oh, excuse good. me. Because you can do StreamYards. StreamYards, you can get, I, I can literally join you. Yeah. And then you can record a screen record on your end or something. And then, I don't know, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll suss out what's going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's it. Listen, lads, pre- this is the last, kind of the last one. I, I assume so. Really appreciate anyone that's at least made it this far. This is half of the end. It's like the finale or some shit. I don't know. Um, <laughs> we won't be gone for long though. We will not be gone for long. And the second we start this January coming, the second we start recording, that's the ball rolling. We'll get another EP. We'll get at least two or three done next year. If, if like funds permitted, if we if we can put the money aside pro- well if I could put the money aside properly I'd like to get a lot of music done next year just to keep the yeah. ball rolling and keep shit because I don't want this to, to die I want this to keep going and getting bigger you know yeah <clears throat> a nice stream of content <clears throat> so lads ladies gentlemen uh, yes I think that's it we shall see us in you know what Connor they that's might it. see us in October because I might be doing a fucking Halloween podcast so you might see something like that ooh spooky um, <laughs> I'm still trying to pull it all together, so hopefully, cause that's just extra content. Always on the channel, whatever. I really like doing that. It's a half a hobby as well. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll cool say fun. in association with Copper Fox. That's what I'm going to put on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a company or something. Uh, keep it tied in. And I'm going to still be like at the start of it. Go listen to the songs. <laughs> listen to our songs, please. Uh, you know what I'll do? Every 15 minutes, I'll take an interval and be like, "Oh, here's their song. How do you do it?" <laughs> yeah, you know, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> if you guess. Uh, right lads I'll, this outro went way too long so Connor do you want to say anything before we stop this bad boy no just 
keep on looking at the socials we aren't done yet there'll be more content very soon and thanks for listening to the ep and i hope you're ready for the next ep in the near future Mine.